experimental farm styles to choose from, it can be an overwhelming process. That's why it's super important to educate yourself on all of the different options because it's really going to dictate the look and feel of your living room design. I'm Nikki D, and I'm your go-to resource for design inspiration, furniture, and decor to make your home look like you hired a designer. But shh, it's our secret because you're going to do the work yourself. I have confidence and you can do it. Also, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. You want to subscribe so that you get the bell notification on future videos. That said, let's get right into it. We're going to talk about the different types of couches that you can choose from. When it comes to your arm styles, there are two different types of the positioning. So you have the straight cushion and you have the T cushion. The straight cushion is going to be in line with the front of the sofa. The T cushion is going to be set back, hence the name of the T. So you can see the image here on the side where it's set back on the T cushion, but on the straight, it goes right up to the edge of the sofa. So that's something that you first want to note when you're shopping for a new sofa design. I'm going to link the blog post that I'm referring to here because there's going to be questions and guidance to help you pick your sofa arm questions that you want to ask yourself about the style, the aesthetics, the height. That way you know exactly what you should be thinking about when you're choosing your sofa arm style. So to talk through the 12 different types beyond the rolled arm and the track arm, which you're probably familiar with, we're going to talk about the curved panel, pleated. We're going to talk about different types of track arm, Charles of London, rolled English arm, setback, wedge, slope, and sloped rolled arm. Some of these are a combination of each other, but it's just important to know the characteristics of each so that you know what you're looking for. So let's get right into it. First up is the curved arm sofa. I actually have a sofa in this style in my home, which I'll show you later. This style is going to have a soft edge to it. There are different types of curved arm sofas, and these are trending right now and very popular. So you can have where it just has similar to a track, thin track arm where it just has that curved edge on the inside and then it curves at the side. You can also have where it goes directly and curves from the back to the front and then kind of cushions you and envelopes you in like a warm embrace. You can have where it slopes from the back down to a lower profile at the front. These are all different versions of the curved arm sofa. This is going to be great for transitional spaces, for contemporary spaces, modern. It's going to have a graceful, stylish appearance, elevated, good for smaller spaces, because when we see the sock arm, you'll see that that actually extends outward from the sofa width, which adds to the overall depth of the sofa, the width of the sofa. So this is an image of the one that we have in our home. It's from Interior Define. It has an elevated, sophisticated vibe to it, especially because we have it in velvet fabric with the gold uh, legs. But this sofa came with two uh, lumbar pillows, which I removed to add contrast with the regular throw pillows. This is a great sofa. It's nice to lean against, and it really is super comfortable. So that's an example of the curved arm sofa. The next sofa we have is the sock arm. This is a classic. This can be either straight or it can be the T cushion. This is an example of your T cushion because it's set back. Remember, it's got that curved rounded edge, so it's going to soften the appearance of the space. And this is great for traditional and transitional homes. Some of the features, again, are that rounded appearance. It's going to be great for placing your arm and resting it. It has a classic timeless appeal. This is not going out of style, but if you're looking for that modern contemporary vibe, you might not want to go this way. It also is going to take up more room than the track arm because, again, it extends beyond the edge of the cushion. Next style is the panel arm. This one has nail heads. The panel arm has this extra piece in the front of your sofa. So that gives it more of an elevated, sophisticated, traditional style to it. This style with the tufting is also fabulous for glam homes because it's going to give it that rich, sophisticated vibe, especially because it has the caster feet and then it has the tufting in the back. But sticking with the arm style, 
The panel arms are going to be great because it's got a rounded panel in the front. So it is great for putting uh, nail heads to elevate the look of the sofa. It's going to be sophisticated. It is going to be super comfortable because it's got that plush armrest with the extra cushioning up at the top. Next style we're going to get into is a pleated key arm, which is similar to the panel and the sock arm and the track arm. It's like kind of like a combination of all three. This style is harder to find. It actually goes out of fashion, I would say. So this one's a little bit harder to find, but just so that you're aware, this is a pleated key arm and it's got the pleats in the edge, but it's got the flatter surface, which is great for resting a book or even a cup, but you got to hold it because if you spill it, you'll be in trouble if you don't have performance fabric. Okay, next we have the small track arm. So when it comes to track arms, we can have different widths on our track arm. Now, if you have a smaller space, we want a small track arm because it's going to take up less width, right? The seating area is going to be the same, but the extension out at the sides will be less or more. So this is a small track arm, has more of an elevated, sophisticated look to it. This is going to be great for transitional homes, for Scandinavian homes, for mid-century modern, you can put this style in, and it's going to have a clean, tailored look and very elevated and sophisticated. So when we talk about the large track arm, this is going to have a wider arm. This can be up to eight inches or even more if you're going for more of that contemporary modern look. This is great because you can rest something on top of it. You can actually, they sell wooden pieces that can go up on the top of it, which becomes like a rest for either a drink or a book or something like that. This is going to be perfect for a modern home. It is going to take up more square footage because again, you have to account for the width of the arms. So this style is going to be perfect for like basements. It can have a bulky appearance to it because of the arms. So if you're looking for more of a streamlined appearance, you're not going to want to have those wider track arms. There is a blend, a happy medium between the thin and the wide, which is what we have in our home. This is a chase sectional that we have that has the track arms and this has more of a contemporary vibe to it. Modern has more of a laid back, relaxed style to it than the curved arm sofa that we have in the front room with the velvet fabric. So the look of your sofa is going to dictate the vibe of your living room, essentially. Next style is the Charles of London. Again, this is more traditional, transitional, has an elevated look, sophisticated. It's got the pleating. It has the extra padding on the cushion that extends to the back of the arm. This is an example of our tea cushion if we are doing a quiz because it is set back from the side of the sofa. And this is going to have a classic look to it. It's going to be timeless. It's not going to go out of style. This is something that will make your home look and feel like it's up to date. However, if you're looking for something more modern or contemporary, this is, again, not going to be the style. We want to go with our track arms or our curved arm for those looks. Next style we have is the rolled English arm. You can see that this sofa has more of a glam, classic, traditional vibe to it. If you had this same sofa instead of the velvet fabric in, say, a linen or a performance fabric, it's going to have a different appearance as well. So it's important to remember the fabric that you choose with the arm and the leg. It's a whole package, but right now we're just going through the arm styles. So the English rolled arm is going to have maybe a button, covered button. It's going to have the pleating detail. This is an example of the tea cushion where it's set back. And this is going to be great for traditional living rooms. It's also known as a club arm. You'll see this a lot in chairs as well. Great for traditional and classic designs. Has more of a tailored, sophisticated look to it. Next, we have the rolled English setback arm. So this one's a little bit different from the T-shape or T-cushion where you don't have that sharp edge. It kind of just is set back, which you can see here, but it's curved. So it has a softer appearance to it, more elevated, more sophisticated. You're going to hear that a lot when we're talking about the classic traditional style sofas. So this is going to be positioned back from the front edge and it kind of just curves back, has a softer, more traditional look, low profile, curved line, traditional silhouette. 
Next style is the wedge arm. This is a popular arm style also for modular sectionals and sectional styles because it is going to just have that clean edge where you can kind of just lean into it very comfortably. That's the best way to describe it. So you can see the web is also known as a cuddle at corner because you literally like just cuddle and angle into the side of that sofa because it doesn't have a straight appearance to it. So this is going to slope outward. It's going to take up less space than traditional sock arms. Again, it has that cuddle zone, great for modern contemporary spaces. Next, we have the slope arm sofa. So the slope arm is just what it sounds like. It comes from the front and it slopes down to, it comes from the back and slopes down to the front. This is going to have an elevated look. It can be placed in modern homes, in transitional homes, in even um, elevated traditional homes, depending on the fabric that you choose. The slope arm is great because it's perfect to rest your arm, very comfortable. But again, it takes up less square footage, so it's great for small spaces because it doesn't have that width that you're used to in the sock arm. So this is going to have a beautiful look to it. You can also put that in mid-century modern homes. We have the slope rolled arm, which slopes from the back to the front. It has a curved edge, so almost like a smaller sock arm look, but very sophisticated, elevated, kind of a glam vibe to it. Again, depends on the fabric that you put, but this style is going to be perfect blend for if you want that modern look, but then you also want a classic look. So this will give you a nice personality to your room and it's great for minimalist spaces as well because it's just simple classic sleek and just very sophisticated so that is our 12 sofas next i'm going to show you the two sofas in person that i have in my home and that'll help you to decide which one is best for you remember to like and subscribe and that way you'll get the bell notification and let me now share in person my sofas this is the curved edge sofa that we have in our sitting room. This one has a straight side, but then here it has a curved profile. So this is perfect if I'm leaning against it, I can rest my arm on it. I have the two pillows here that I replaced instead of having the lumbar pillow that it comes with. I'm going to give you a closer look at it. It's got the straight side. It has the curved edge. It comes narrower at the top and then it gets a little bit wider at the base. It's got piping on it and you can see the sloped edge in the back, but it's very subtle. So this is more of a curved arm and then it also has that slope detail in the back there. This sofa has the track arm. So this is perfect for resting your arm against it. You can put a book on top of it. It has a flat surface, so it doesn't have the curved edge. This has more of a contemporary modern look to it, more of a casual style. Again, it came with a lumbar pillow that was in soft fabric, but I removed that because I wanted more of an elevated personal style. So I added two throw pillows that really reflect and add interest and personality. So this is the track arm. Again, it's going to have more of a casual, modern contemporary style, whereas the one that I showed you in the sitting room that's in the velvet fabric has the curved edge, is going to have more of a sophisticated, elevated look to it, which is perfect for transitional spaces, or it can go on contemporary, can go on glam, depending on the fabric and the choices that you pick. Here's an up close visual. This track arm is about five inches and it does not have any piping. Again, that adds to the casual look to it. If you have piping, it adds more of a formal look or sophistication. This is gonna have more of a relaxed modern contemporary style. Again, at the side, it is straight right down to the bottom. You're not gonna have any tapering, no curved edges. Great for putting a book on top of it. The track arm is really a classic tried and true arm style that is perfect for a variety of design styles. Now that you know the sofa arm styles you have to choose from, Hopefully it'll make the process much easier as you go and decide what the look and feel is that you want for your home. Don't forget, 
like, subscribe so you get the bell notification and leave a comment below. Was this helpful? And what do you want to see next? Happy designing.